Reducing fractions Reducing fractions means writing fractions using the smallest numbers possible. Let's look at an example. 100 over 200 Can you think of a better way to write this using smaller numbers? Let's see. 100 divided by 100 and 200 divided by 100 equals 1 half. Cool, ain't it? Just divide the numerator and the denominator by the highest common factor. Let's look at one more example. Reduce 27 over 108. What goes into the numerator and the denominator? 3 goes in. So let's divide it out. 27 divided by 3 over 108 divided by 3 equals 9 over 36. Hey, now it's easy. Do you see that 9 goes in as well? 9 divided by 9 over 36 divided by 9 equals 1 quarter. So, 27 divided by 108 equals 1 divided by 4. The best way to do it is to get the greatest common factor of 27 and 108. Let's see how this is done. The factors of 27 are 1, 3, 9, 27. The factors of 108 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, 27, 36, 54, 108. The highest factor common to both is 27. Hence, the HCF is 27. Now, if we divide the numerator and the denominator by 27, we get the same answer in one shot. 27 divided by 27 over 108 divided by 27 equals 1 divided by 4. But you know what? If you can't find the HCF, just start dividing out stuff you see, like we did at first. Let's try one more. Reduce 72 over 81. Why don't you pause for a minute and work through the problem and when you are done, continue to check your answer. I am sure you must have got the answer. Let's see. Let's see. The HCF of 72 and 81 is 9. 72 divided by 9 over 81 divided by 9 is 8 ninths. This is so cool. I have a quick question. Do we always have to write fractions in its reduced form? Good question. Yes, it is always good to write fractions in the reduced form. Can we now go to the next section?